Final formula for the nth term of the sequence, 1 fifth, 2 sevenths, 3 ninths, 4 elevenths, and 5 thirteenths. And write down the next two terms. Okay, so we write out the terms of the sequence, leave a bit of space between each one. So we've got 1 fifth, 2 sevenths, 3 ninths, 11, 4 elevenths, and 5 thirteenths. Now, if we see here, n is 1, here n is 2. Here n is 3, so here n is 4, and here n is 5. So we can see that the numerator is going to be the same as whatever n is. Right, now looking just at the denominator, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13, we see we're going from 5 to 7, we add 2. Again, from 7 to 9, we add 2. From 9 to 11, we add 2. And then from 11 to 13, we add 2. So our sequence will begin to n for the denominator. If we go back to here and then go back 1, so in the opposite direction, take 2. 5 take away 2 gives me 3. And therefore we here we put a plus 3. So the denominator is going to be 2n plus 3. Therefore the nth term of this sequence is going to be n, the numerator divided by the denominator, which is 2n plus 3. Write down the next two terms, so we just use the pattern or we use the nth term. In the first case, uh, n is 6 because we want the sixth term of the sequence, so it's going to be 6. Term will be 6 over 2 times 6 plus 3, which is 6 over 15. Or you can just look at this, make the next one 6 and add 2 to 13. And the seventh term, n, is going to be equal to 7. Therefore, the seventh term is going to be equal to 7 over 2 times 7 plus 3, which is going to be 7 over 17. OK, so there's been a video to show you how to work out the nth term when the uh, sequence of fractions, where the numerator and the denominator are both linear sequences. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.